participate in this most sacred supper in which your only begotten son when about to hand himself over to death entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity the banquet of his love grant we pray that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month is to be the first of all the others for you, the first month of your year. Speak to the whole community of Israel and say, On the tenth day of this month, each man must take an animal from the flock, one for each family, one animal for each household. If the household is too small to eat the animal, a man must join with his neighbor, the nearest to his house, as the number of persons requires. You must take into account what each can eat in deciding the number for the animal. It must be an animal without blemish, a male one year old. You may take it from either sheep or goats. You must keep it till the 14th day of the month, when the whole assembly of the community of Israel shall slaughter it between the two evenings. Some of the blood must be then taken and put on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses where it must be eaten. That night, the flesh is to be eaten, roasted over the fire. It must be eaten with unlevelled bread and bitter herbs. You shall eat it like this, with a girdle round your waist, sandals on your feet, a staff in your hand. You shall eat it hastily. It is a Passover in honor of the Lord. That night, I will go through the land of Egypt and strike down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, man and beast alike, and I shall deal out punishment to all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood shall serve to mark the houses that you live in. When I see the blood, 
I will pass over you, and you shall escape the destroying plague when I strike the land of Egypt. This day is to be a day of re remembrance for you, and you must celebrate it as a feast in the Lord's honour. For all the generations, you are to declare it a day of festival forever. The word of the Lord. Blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ, and the bread we break it is a sharing in the body of the Lord. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Surrounded me, you have heard and answered. 